Yes, hello to all uh, CXC students out there, human and social biology. Um, so this is the first episode for your CXC past paper revision series, that's human and social um, biology. As for today's episode, I will be looking at question two, um, coming from the 2018 past paper. Right, so as you can see on the screen, question two. Now the first question, breathing is necessary for life as it brings oxygen into the body and takes carbon dioxide out of the body. So yes, that is actually a fact. Now the first question related to that statement define the term vital capacity. No, so as for vital capacity, this is the volume of air that you can breathe out after taking in a deep breath. So that is after breathing in as deep as possible. So the amount or the volume of air that you can breathe out after taking a deep breath. That is what is known as um, your vital capacity. So um, if you have that or something similar to that, then of course you will get your two marks. The next question, name the instrument used to measure vital capacity. And of course it is known as a spirometer. So you will give in that answer. Definitely you will get your one mark. Let's go to the third question. List three factors which increase the rate and depth of breathing. So this question is basically testing your knowledge and of course the different factors that affect your breathing rate. Exercise, that's one. When we have altitude and of course um, anxiety. With exercise, of course, once you start to do something much more strenuous, um, then of course your breathing rate definitely will have to increase because of the increased demand of oxygen that the human body will need. Um, altitude, as for all altitude increase your breathing. Basically, you high, the higher you go in terms of above the sea level, the higher the altitude gets. And in terms of oxygen within that here, because the air is so thin, the amount of oxygen at high altitude basically reduce. So the only way the human body can get the required amount of oxygen is by, of course, breathing faster. And as for anxiety, I mean, you're anxious for something. I mean, the human body suddenly, once anxiety kick in, then there's an increase in terms of the hormone that is called adrenaline. And the fact that that hormone release or production is increase and then that hormone will stimulate your breathing rate to increase let's move on to another question all right so drug abuse is a serious problem among young people in the caribbean drugs are chemicals which change the manner in which the body functions some drugs can be classified as depressants while others are referred to as stimulants. So the first question relating to that statement, explain the difference between a depressant and a stimulant and give one example of each. So the difference, looking at the difference, stimulant make you more alert and feeling more energetic, while depressant reduces feelings of pain it should be. So feelings of pains feeling of anxiety and provides relief of pain right so while the person reduces feelings of anxiety and provides relief of pain the examples of each stimulant that would be cocaine and as for the percent that would be heroin of course there are others in your studying then definitely know that you will come across others let's move down to the next question so at school, Suresh is tempted to try marijuana because his friends tell him that it can help him to get better grades. He is fearful because his teacher told his classmate, told his class that people can become dependent on drugs. Explain 
to search the difference between physical and psychological dependence on drugs. So physical dependence is when the drug becomes part of the body's metabolism. metabolism. Now what this means is that in terms of the functioning of the human body, all metabolic reactions or activities that take place in the body. is that the body physically um, depend on it. So those organs, those body parts that are responsible for metabolism, they actually depend on the um, drug to carry out um, this process. So it, the body parts depend on it physically. While um, as for the psychological dependence, it is actually when you have a craving for the drug as it becomes a habit, it becomes a ritual. So that simply means that you get up every morning. Psychologically, is is like you cannot function without um, taking the drug. That is what is known as um, the psychological dependence. All right, moving down <coughs> to the next question. Suggest three reasons why young people may start taking drugs and of course we have several reasons these are just three of the many reasons so we have um, boredom so i mean teenagers young people at times they may just become bored just need something to occupy their time so taking drugs of course they will resort to that rebellion some teenagers teenagers they are just rebellious based on what is going on at omar at their school and we have to experiment teenagers are teenagers like to experiment like to find out what the feeling is like so these are just um three of course there are many other different um reasons why young people of course will take drugs yes um human and social biology students so this is um first episode um episode one as i said it will be a series entirely um for human and social biology student where i'll be looking at um cxc past paper questions so it's a revision series so um, once again students thanks for viewing of course share the video with your teachers with your classmate and of course please remember to click um the subscription button subscribe to the channel and by subscribing I'm sure that um, you will get a notification once a new episode is being posted so once again students uh, thanks for being your teacher is out of here thank you